Hi Alex, this is the stuff in the sink. After the dishes are washed and the sink rinsed out, there remains in the strainer at the bottom of the sink what I will call momentarily some stuff. Now, any rational, intelligent, objective person would say that this is a simply a mixture of food particles too big to go down the drain, composed of bits of protein, carbohydrates, fat, and fiber. Dinner dandruff. Furthermore, the person might add that this material was first sterilized by the high heat of cooking and further sanitized by going through the detergent and hot water of the dishpan and rinsed. Well, no problem. <laughs> but any teenager who has been forced into washing dishes knows this explanation is a lie. That stuff in the bottom of the strainer is toxic waste. Deadly poison. A danger to health. In other words, it's about enough to make you hurl. Oh, please. Your mom deals with that stuff all the time. One of the very few reasons I have any respect for my mother at all is because she reaches into the sink with her bare hands. Bare hands! And picks up that lethal gunk and drops it into the garbage. To top that, I saw her reach into the wet garbage bag and fish around in there looking for a lost teaspoon, barehanded. A kind of unbelievable courage. She found a spoon and a clump of coffee grounds mixed with chicken fat and scrambled eggs. I almost passed out when she gave it to me to wash. Once in French class, we learned the word odeur. And when the teacher told me it meant unspeakable filth, <laughs> I knew exactly what she was talking about. I see it every night, the bottom of the sink. That night, dishwashing time, I told my mother, we have Roder in our sink. Well, she gave me her, my son, the idiot, look, and explained that the dinner I had just eaten was at the very moment in my stomach, in just about the same condition, rotting. No matter what my mother thinks, I know that the stuff in the sink strainer is lethal and septic. It will give you leprosy or something worse. If you should ever accidentally touch it, you must never touch anything other than the part of your body with your fingers until you have scalded and soaked and rinsed your hands. Even worse, I know that the stuff can congeal and mush up and mutate into something living that can crawl out of the sink during the night and get loose in the house. I'm gonna think of it. My father never came closer than three feet to the sink in his life. My mother said he was lazy, but I knew that he knew what I knew about the gunk. I told him once, I bet Jesus never had to wash dishes and take the gunk out of the sink. He agreed. It was the only theological discussion we ever had. Imagine a high school graduation speech. The speaker addresses the students and asks, how many of you would like to be adults, independent, as on your own citizens? Well, all hands would go up with some enthusiasm. And then the speaker would then give him this list of things that grown-ups do. Clean the sink strainer. Plunge out the toilet. Clean up babies when they poop and pee. Wipe runny noses. Clean up the floor when the baby throws up strained spinach. Empty out the kitty litter. Scrape up dog doo too. Bury, bed, bury dead pets when they get run over in the street. When you can do these things, then you will be adults! Some of the students may not want to go on at this point, but they may as well face the truth. Taking out the garbage of this life is a condition of membership and community. Being an adult is dirty work. But someone has to do it. Thank <laughs> you.